Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? For those of y'all who've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for those of you who have no idea who I am, shame on you, but allow me to introduce myself. For it is I says me, Cisco Soldier, aka the Trey. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate y'all coming back too. Thank you for coming back. Hey, check it out. So look, today we're going to talk about database management foundations. Okay, C175. All right, WGU course. Um, I took this course over a year ago, right? But uh, I'm just trying to go back because once you, I'm about to graduate, right? I'm, I'm currently, sorry, for those of y'all don't know who I am, uh, Cisco Soldier. I'm currently in the Bachelor's of Network Operation and Security, and uh, I only have one class left. It's my capstone, right? And then after you finish, you know, um, with all your classes and stuff, they lock down the portal so you can no longer go on it. So I'm just trying to go and cover some of the classes that I have not uh, covered, right? So that way anyone that's in a degree plan or anyone in other IT uh, degree plans who have these classes can at least get some semblance of what's going on prior to them taking it, right? So I'm just trying to go back and recap before the uh, portal shuts down on me. So today we're gonna go over database management foundations, okay? So the first thing is how hard was this class? To me, uh, it was about a seven or eight, and that's only because I was totally unfamiliar with databases prior to taking this class. But it's not it's not anything difficult, right? It's kind of, I will say it's kind of boring, right? I'll, I'll be completely honest and transparent. It is kind of boring, but like I say, I got through it. I think it took me about a month, um, but, you know, I got through it. So I'm just going to talk to you guys about it, right? So, like, if you're new um to like wgu or whatever the first thing i do when i take a class is i go onto the wgu facebook page and i go look at what other people are saying about it right so you know i kind of go uh over and then i just type in like you know you go to the search and then you just type in like hey database um foundations man, man ain't nothing came up yet was the database management database management right so database management management man why is it not resolving here let me see if i can just search all right got it and then you know you have people oh you know what i should have did let me see if i can go back real quick um what i should have did was just see if i can just type in c175 and see if anything comes up for c175 Okay, here, here we go, database management foundations. And then, you know, I kind of just look and see, like, hey, what are people talking about? Because, like, you can just find a whole bunch of stuff that will help you be successful. You know, people studying different things, people um, watching different YouTube videos and stuff that you might not have come across. So this is just a great, a great way of how to game plan how you're going to uh, start studying for certain uh, courses, right? So anyway, so... You know go on there do that right so just talking about kind of the things that's you know that you can be uh prepared for that you will probably see right so when you talk about uh database data modeling and representation right that's going to be you know you can go through and you can kind of like click on these modules right here and it has a different lessons what i would suggest for this per, uh, for this particular class right is that you do read everything the u certified material is enough for this i didn't mention that at the beginning too the u certified material as far as reading goes is enough to get you over the hump for this course okay another thing too which i'm gonna show you in a minute is a good um youtube video course that's absolutely free that's another thing that's going to get you over too right uh the relationship um the relational database model this is very very important okay so I just Googled it real quick and it brought me here, okay, to the relational data, the uh, entity relationship diagram. All right, you're going to see this a lot, so you must memorize this, okay, the, the different relationships, all right, one to one, uh, zero to one, zero, uh, one to many, uh, things of that nature, right? So it's going to build these little diagrams, so you have to talk about the relationship between them, okay, be able to recognize, hey, this is what they call crow's feet, right? So what is the relationship between these folks, all right? Is it one to many? Is it one to one? All right, things of that nature. All right, and then when you come down, right, these are the type of diagrams that you must be familiar with and how to recognize these. You know, these are not specific to WGU, like the ones you're going to see on your OA or your PA, but it's going to be something similar to this so you need to know like hey 
you know, what does this mean, right? So when you look at the information engineering style, right? So here, how it says, hey, this is one-to-one -one relationship, just a straight line, right? And then this is one-to-many, okay? So you see these, this right here is called the crow's foot, all right? So you're gonna see this a lot when you're looking at these different diagrams, all right? And then you can say, hey, what's the relationship between a company and employees, right? Where you say it's one-to-many. There is one company, but there are many employees, okay? So that's why you need to know like hey this is the relationship with these different uh with these different diagrams things like that all right then you have this chin style the way that it's written okay uh one to many like zero uh one to zero or more okay be the, denoted by n okay and then you have the m and then the n stuff like that so yeah you need to know this type of stuff so that's why i would tell you you need to focus a little bit of time on that and if this is very very confusing right now then i'm gonna show you a way how to get over okay mm -hmm. so basically you know for those of y'all know yes i have a youtube channel right and i made i created a certain playlist that you can go to and you can look this stuff up and it's right here it's the database playlist by a uh, mr caleb curry and just to show you real quick right this guy here so look for this guy caleb curry this is the absolute best absolute bet i would not have passed this class if it wasn't for reading the you certified material and then also watching this guy break it down all right you know his lead his um instruction style you know he's he tells a lot of jokes but he's serious you know what i mean so you will learn from him right and that's when like when you're reading something and it's very confusing right when he started talking about cardinality and talks talking about hey the one to many relationship many to many one to one relationship all right some of the confusing topics right introduction to keys where he starts talking about the super key and the canada key right the primary and alternate key and what does that mean surrogate key stuff like that okay all right and then we start talking about first normal form second normal form uh third normal form you definitely need to be aware of that all right and, and um, can be able to know about that okay sql basics uh going over that hey what exactly is sql okay so sql is like you know this is like a command language or something like that structured query language right and this is kind of like how they build databases all right um so it's kind of like hey these these like learning these lists of commands will help you like build like the tables of the databases okay so it's like hey this is where all the data right because you have structured data versus unstructured data right so this is where the data is stored so we're going to store it within these tables where you have to use certain commands like hey create you know update things like that right and then you know um you have to be able to find it so you have to use commands to build the database out as well right so you have to use commands like insert uh create update things you know just a bunch of stuff like that but this is how you actually build databases so you know you take a lot of classes right in college and stuff and you're like man what does this have to do with real life all right so with databases right like we use databases every day or should i say databases are used on us okay and what i mean by that is like this so when you look at the example right you talk about like hey amazon right amazon is like a version of a database so it's like hey they store all your information in so that way when you go in and order something right they know your address they know your phone number okay they got your credit card information so they can just readily send it to you right you look at the example of like youtube right so it's like hey you go on youtube and you always see like hey recommended videos right they're taking data and they're using it to come up with like okay hey this is what this person this person watches so many minutes of this you know this person likes these type of videos so that's why they always recommend certain things to you okay based upon your habits and stuff and the data that they collect on you same way with facebook everything right it is it, so it's very applicable to how we live like our normal life right so this is something to at least learn about so you have the structure the, the basics of what they're talking about okay so that's the importance of uh databases and stuff like that all right so i won't talk you guys to death you know i just want to give you a quick overview of what to expect and then as far as like the oa and the pa and all that stuff this one is this one is highly similar uh the uh, pa is highly similar to the oa i will tell you that so just make sure you go through it learn as much as you can take your time on this if you're unfamiliar with databases and just get through it okay i appreciate y'all uh tuning in with me and i just wanted to like say just give you guys an overview a quick overview of how this class was and uh, i look forward to seeing y'all again come see me again all right I'll see you